Rodrigo linked to Arsenal. Are Arsenal ready to make the big step to the big league and start competing with the likes of Real Madrid? We're going to discuss it. Welcome to the channel with Dre from Dre Ferguson TV. Hit the subscribe button and hit that like button. So the reports are saying it's all over Twitter. Fabrizio, you know, the Real Madrid president is saying, hey, Rodrigo, he could go if it's like 90 million plus euros, all of these sort of speculation. And the reports are saying that Arsenal have made a bid for him. Now, if you believe that is true, that's a whole nother discussion. I'm a bit on the fence. I don't think Arsenal's gone out and made a bid for him personally. But I think it's still great that Arsenal are even in these type of discussions. And it's about time. We have to raise the level overall. So when we look at the sort of prospects of a, a, a Rodrigo, you know, predominantly he plays on the left for Real Madrid. However, he was initially scouted playing through the middle at Santos and during his time with the Brazil under 23s and Sedan was a big fan and they went out and got him. Obviously, in more recent times, he's become established as a left wing forward. Now, that's in the exact same position where his Brazilian counterpart Martinelli also plays. So, is he meant to come in as a direct replacement for Martinelli? Has Arteta got a plan to potentially push Marnelli through the middle? Has he got a plan to potentially optimise Rodrigo in that sort of false nine position? And we've seen it. Arteta tends to like that sort of striker who floats, who links play, but is not an out-and-out -out goal scorer. So what is Arteta actually planning? For me, I look at it and I say, we shouldn't say, oh, it's... A replacement for Marnelli. What we don't need him. We've got Marnelli. No. If you're gonna raise the level, this is what you have to do. Us as Arsenal fans have to get that into our head. If we are going to compete, we've got to move away from the mindset of, oh, we can't bring him in because we've got Marnelli or we've got Saka, we've got Odegaard. We can't bring them in. What are you talking about? Have a look at the likes of Real Madrid, Modric. Cruz, Tukumeni, Kamavinga, Jude Bellingham. Look how stacked they are in that centre of the park, right? I'm pretty sure we'll take all of those players at Arsenal. That's how you get to the elite level. So even if Rodrigo does end up coming in and he does end up occupying that left side, good. That's what we need. Because when you look at games like today where Marnelli's not starting and the previous game against Man C when he's not starting and we have to go in a different direction with like the likes of Trossard playing there or uh, uh, Emil smith or Fabio Vieira, whoever it may be playing on that side, the level drops off way too much if Marnelli's not there. You want your manager to have that type of ammunition to be able to look at his squad and go, all right, should I go with Martinelli today or should I go with Rodrigo today? Or maybe I'll go with both of them. That's how you increase the level. So I'm sick of Arsenal fans keep on saying, no, we can't take him because we've got Martinelli and Martinelli's not going to get game time. We're going to disrupt his progression. Listen, elite teams have elite players for every single position. For me... I just see it as exactly that. If the reports are true and now we are meant to go in for him and he ends up being an Arsenal player in the summer, I totally just look at at this level. Arteta's got to a stage when he's just trying to raise the overall level of that team. And you see it. Saka doesn't play. We've got to rely on Reese Nelson. He's poor. He, he was a good academy prospect, but Arsenal is not his level. You know, Reese Nelson would do well at like uh, a Fulham, those type of teams. Fulham, a Crystal Palace, that's Reese Nelson's level. Champions League's against Bayern Munich, that's not Reese Nelson's level. Um, but why do you find it interesting, even if you look here at the comparisons between Marnelli and Rodrigo, they're very, very similar and very parallel to each other. And I just think overall it's good squad depth 
Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Would you be happy with Rodrigo coming into Arsenal? Do you think nine million is around the right mark? Or do you just think it is paper talk because we know Mbappe is going Real Madrid? Mbappe plays on the left. The, the reports are putting two and two together and trying to make it four. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the subscribe button and hit that like button and I'll see you all again soon. Peace. Everything has a goal. Everything has a goal.